Kimbrough with just be light tackle. I'm here with Rich Jenkins today. Uh, we're going fishing. So it's the uh, middle of September, and uh, we're going out to uh, Kenton Arrows area. Pretty little area to fish here. We've got a high and falling tide. Looks like plenty of current right now, so that's good. Thought it might be interesting just to take you through an evening, see what we do this time of year, see what we're looking for. So let's go see what we can come up with. So off to the left here, I see uh, about a dozen boats, lots of birds flying around, uh, and uh, a fish, little fish flipping on the surface here every once in a while. That's a good indicator of a glass minnow bite. So we're in an area right here, I'm out at the mouth of the river, uh, and we're in an area where there's just a whole lot of bait that collects here. And it's usually little bitty glass minnows, just real small, sometimes bay anchovies, it might be something else, but they're not very big fish. So we could fish here and we could catch a lot of little fish. You know, if I had kids on the boat or something, I might want to do that, but that's not what we're trying to do tonight. We're trying to find a big fish feeding on Bunker, feeding on those Menhaden uh, that are coming out of the rivers right now. So let's keep moving. Well, we found a bunker, Men Hayden, Rockfish Candy. It's their favorite bait. So now it's just a matter of finding feeding fish. So there's an amendment in front of the ASFMC, that's the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission, that's the group who's charged with managing Menhaden, to manage them with the entire ecosystem in mind. Now that makes perfectly good sense to probably 99% of the population. Why wouldn't they do that? It's not that easy. For years they've been managed as a single species, just like every, every other species. I missed fish. There's a lot of money involved in Menhaden. There's a big company down in Virginia, Omega Protein. They catch many metric tons of Menhaden every year, and they just melt it down into oil. Or they make fish feed out of it, or cat food or something. I don't know what they make. So if you manage with the whole ecosystem in mind, well then you take care of the birds and the fish, the whales, all the other animals, the Menhaden are at the bottom of the food chain. They eat algae. Everything else eats them. So why not take the rest of the species in consideration? The more bait we have in Chesapeake Bay, the Atlantic Ocean, the more fish we'll have, the more birds we'll have, the healthier the environment will be. So why not manage them that way? And there they are, just like on cue. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it. I've seen it a thousand times. That bunker pouring out of the rivers and then these big rockfish just sitting here waiting to ambush them. Here we go. Here they come. <laughs> you see the bunker fly? Look at that bait flying. Big fish. Great big fish. Both sides of the boat. Nice fish on the Thunder Road out here on a Friday night. Did you see that one come up with him? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's what that bunker bite's all about right there, man. It gets those fish going. Nice. <laughs> Just under. <laughs> down, the pack, down the hatch. Makes eight over thirty. Mid thirties. Yeah. Pull them up sideways. I got one on too. Great fish. Now I'm gonna land mine. Catch me yours. <laughs> it's recording right now.
<laughs> Found a fish here to give you. He's showing all he wanted. <laughs> Not as big as I thought he was, but. See him back there? Look at that. <laughs> 30 inch fish blowing up on peanut bunker. All what keeps a cycle of life going. That's what nature's all about right there. <laughs> On the road. So it's important for us fishermen to let the ASFMC know how we feel. You can go to a meeting, you can tell them in person, or you can write them a letter, write them an email. It's real easy just to drop an email. I was fishing with John Page Williams last week and he said, you know, Menhaden turned sunlight into whale food. <laughs> well, they turned it into rockfish food tonight. <laughs>